Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design reinforced masonry walls in RAM elements using the masonry wall detailing module. Now we have two different versions of the masonry wall detailing module available within RAM elements. You can either use it as a standalone application, meaning that you do not have an established RAM elements model, and you're going to create all of your model geometry and loading information directly in the detailing module, or you can utilize the detailing module with an existing model in RAM elements for which you have already modeled your masonry walls, provided loading, and completed an analysis. Now for today's session, we will go ahead and use a model that's already been created in RAM elements and then use the detailing module to complete the design for our masonry walls. Now before we go over to the detailing module, let's go ahead and first take a look at our model in RAM elements. As you can see, I've already created a uh, rectangular building structure and I've modeled the masonry walls as shell elements. If I went over to the data panel over at the left hand side of my screen and selected the shells tab, I can review the information that's been defined for the shells, including the thickness, which I've set at eight inches, which would be pretty standard for your masonry units. And if I were to take a look at the material, I can see that I have defined them as masonry walls. Now, in order to send these particular masonry walls or one or two of these masonry walls over to the detailing module, I will need a valid analysis to complete it in RAM elements. So all of the loading for those shell elements, those finite elements gets over to the detailing module. So when you're ready to perform an analysis, you can go up to your quick access toolbar and tell the program to analyze the model. Now again, if you were using the detailing module as a standalone application, it wouldn't be necessary to create any model information in the main application, and it wouldn't be necessary to perform an analysis. Now that our analysis has been completed, we're ready to send some of our masonry walls over to the detailing module. To access the detailing module, you're gonna select your modules tab in your ribbon toolbar, and we're gonna find our walls section. Now, if we're using it as a standalone application, we can go to standalone followed by masonry. Or since we are using it as integrated within our main RAM elements model, we're gonna go to the assigned area. Now, before we invoke that command, let's go ahead and select the masonry walls we want to send. So I'm gonna hold down my shift key and I'm gonna select the first story and second story walls in this front elevation of the structure. I'm going to go over to the assign area and I'm going to tell the program I want to enter the masonry wall detailing module. Now once I enter the masonry wall detailing module, I'm going to see that all of my geometry and loading information is already available over here. So I don't really need to complete any of those pieces of information. Now, there are a few additional pieces of information, however, that I'm going to need to define for the wall. If you're unclear about which pieces of information or which parameters you're going to set in the detailing module when you're using it integrated with your RAM elements main application, you can go ahead and take a look at the data area. Anything with a symbol like this that has basically a blue pencil means that that is a parameter you can specify directly in the detailing module. Anything with a red arrow adjacent to it means that this information came from your main application. Now, if at some point through your process of designing this masonry wall, you decide that any of these main parameters that came from your, aim, your main application need to be changed, your best workflow for that is to go back to RAM elements, make those changes, and then return to the detailing module where all those changes will then be re brought in and you can re-verify your wall at that point. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the parameters that we can customize for our wall. In the geometry area, we're going to go ahead and see that our bond type can be specified as either running bond or stack bond. And we can create some additional 
strips within the wall. Let's go ahead and move down a little further. We can see that the material information has been brought in from our RAM Elements main application, but we are able to specify our mortar type as well as our grouting, either full grouting or partial grouting. Now, the program will be asking you which types of elements you want to design. And here's a good chance to take a look at what type of elements we can design within the detailing module. The detailing module can design bearing walls, shear walls, columns, and lintels directly in here using the forces that were brought in from RAM elements. Now some of the items that we can check for are combined axial and flexural for your shear wall design as well as your bearing wall design. We could take a look at axial compression, axial tension. We can also take a look at column design and your lintel design as well. And we'll leave all of those selected. Now if you do have some seismic requirements, we also have a checkbox in order to be able to invoke those parameters. Let's go ahead and move on down. Where we're gonna find our wall, lintel, and opening information. This is how you can customize or force the program to use particular bar sizes through the design or optimization process. So if you have particular spacing requirements that you'd like to adhere to, if you have particular bar sizes that you would like the program to use, you can go ahead and specify that here. If you have joint reinforcement or would like joint reinforcement, you can go ahead and select that as well. Let's move on down and we can specify this same type of information for our lintels and we can also add um, prescriptive reinforcement around openings. Now that we've gotten the main pieces of information um, set, let's go ahead and also take a look at some of our advanced options. So before you perform any type of optimization or check, you're gonna wanna take a look at some of your advanced options, which is available through the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. Here you can set some additional parameters that are not available through the data area. Now what you're gonna notice is that Let's go ahead and check that checkbox, is that for each of these parameters, a help window will appear on the right-hand side of this dialog to give you some additional information about what this parameter will do as far as your design and what perhaps the ramifications are for that. So we can go ahead and uh, take a look at any of these parameters and customize them as you need to. Now at this point, we've gone ahead and specified all of our information. Again, most of it came over from RAM elements. We customized a few pieces in the detailing module and we're at the point where we're ready to go ahead and perform a design. I'm gonna start this process by clicking on the optimize icon, again, available in the home tab of the ribbon toolbar. Once RAM Elements has completed the design of your reinforced masonry shear wall, the status bar at the bottom of the screen will be updated to indicate the status of your design. This status bar is color coded in red, meaning your design failed, yellow meaning your design passed but with warnings, or green meaning the design passed all code checks. Now for us, we can see our status bar is green, which means that the design was successful. It passed all code checks without yielding any warnings. Now that our design is complete, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the additional information that is available. In the ribbon toolbar, I'm now gonna select the designs. I'm now gonna select the diagrams tab. Here I can select any of the defined load cases or combinations that were generated in your RAM elements main application. Again, since I am using this module in coordination with the RAM elements model, I can see a variety of different diagrams available on my screen. Let's go a little further and let's go ahead and take a look at the detailing area. 
Here I can see the proposed reinforcement layout based on the parameters that I specified in the data area on the Home tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. In the data area, I can see I can customize my vertical, horizontal, lintel, and opening reinforcement directly in the data panel by selecting alternate bar sizes or spacings. I can also use a variety of different tools available in the detailing tab of the ribbon toolbar to customize the reinforcement as needed. This may also be an excellent way to model an existing masonry reinforcement wall, and then you can perform a check to see if that reinforcement is satisfactory based on whatever changes you need to investigate for that existing wall. Now what we're also going to notice is that we can export this reinforcement as a DXF file and we can also print our designs. Let's now return to the home tab of the ribbon toolbar. Now again, if you would prefer to manually specify your reinforcement, we do have an option here in the process area where you can check the reinforcement that you've assigned to the model. And we also have an option to review your report after design is completed. Now this report is available for you to print. You can also save it as a Microsoft Excel or Word file. In here we'll include all of our calculations and this is an excellent place to go if you do find yourself in a position where you are receiving either warnings or errors on your design. Here we can see all the design checks for each load case that is investigated. At this point, this concludes our process for designing reinforced masonry walls using the RAM Elements Detailing Module in combination with a RAM Elements Main Application Model. To save this model, you can click on the Save icon in the ribbon toolbar, and then we can close the detailing module. Now at this point, if you did have a full complete building model, you can go around the perimeter of your structure and investigate those, exporting each plane at one time over to the detailing module. Now in order to use the detailing module in conjunction with a RAM elements model, again, you must ensure that your model has been analyzed and the shells within a plane of a wall should have the same um, thickness and it should be um, a vertical and rectangular wall. This concludes our process for designing masonry walls using the RAM elements masonry wall detailing module. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.